Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Let's take a look at the euro again. Uh, well, on the euro currency situation hasn't changed much since the previous week, especially on the higher time frame. So you take a look at the weekly time frame and the monthly time frame. You will see that the difference between the close of the market on the previous week and close on the market on the current week is just the one pivot. So um, it hardly we could say something new, something really new on the higher time frames. Um, but on the lower time frames, so on, although situation has changed a bit, but in general, uh, also it's nothing drastic here. I have to say that the major events now stand in the fundamental part of the financial markets, and uh, I briefly have written the my thought my thoughts about it. Particularly speaking, I see some uh, worrying signs on the stock market. And uh, this makes me think that some large flow between the markets could start in the nearest future. And if you are interested with that, you could read the weekly uh, uh, fundamental part of the analysis in the weekly research that we place in the forum and take part in the discussion because uh, it's very, it will be in very interesting to uh, read thoughts of each other and to take the discussion on the potential of whether it could happen or not and maybe to find some uh, weak, uh, weak, weak moments in my conclusions. Well, But, but uh, in general I have some uh, suspicions that really something is going on here and I, October could become the really significant um, month for the financial markets. We will have three major events on the October that will be the non-farm payrolls, the preliminary uh, gross domestic product release for the third quarter. We will see also the debt sale on the 7th, uh, 17th of October in the United States. And what is more significant, that we will get the FMC meeting on the 29th and 30th uh, of October. And what is very significant is that FMC meeting will take place right after all major data will be released. That's why Fed Reserve will have uh, enough time and enough information for make the conclusion about the uh, quantitative easing program. Uh, and the tricky moment of this Fed Reserve meeting, FOMC meeting on October, that we do not, we will not have any meeting till the end of the year. I mean, uh, we will not have the meeting on November. The December meeting hardly will make any changes because that will be the end of the financial year. Uh, people will start, investors will start to calculate bonuses and uh, can reduce the positions, can contract the, the petite positions on the market um, before the Christmas and that will not be the period of the active trading. That's why hardly the Fed Reserve will take any steps on the December meeting, they probably will postpone it till the next year. Thus, as a conclusion, we could say that October, in fact, last, last, last month, when the Federal Reserve could take some uh, drastic steps concerning the quantitative easing program and in general an assessment of overall uh, economical situation in the United States. Uh, if we will combine this event with the all other moments that we have just discussed, this could be really uh, the shaking market. Uh, shaking month for the markets. That's why um, it will be interesting to talk with you on the forum about, about um, the thoughts that I uh, have posted in the weekly research, in the beginning of the weekly research. So if you're interested with it, you could read it and then take part in the discussion. Maybe you will add something more, something new, uh, some interesting moments uh, to that comment and we will be able to find uh, to estimate really the truth what will, what could happen here. Well, speaking purely about the euro currency, um, the situation is not very easy right now because previously we said that as market 
has hit this overbought right at the resistance that was really in is significant resistance 127 extension on that swing also that is a 618 minor extension target of the ABCD pattern uh, that combined with the overbought and we said that probably market should show some deeper retracement if it will take out of these lows on the intraday charts but that hasn't happened instead of that market has trying uh, has made the try to pass through this resistance but has failed and that is the reason for of trickiness to the current situation so if market really would like to continue to move up it should pass through it to the upside because it's not that overbought anymore or well, deeper retracement suggests existing of some ABCD patient that has been erased by the price action to the upside. And currently market st stands tight right at the nearest FIP supports 134.75. That is also the previous weekly, po weekly pivot point of the previous week. And um, for us it's very difficult to estimate currently whether market will show the upward continuation or still will show the downward move. So let's try to take a look at the 4 hour time frame chart and the hourly time frame chart and to estimate what we could do this, uh, do here and what levels we should keep an eye on. And the 4 hour chart is very interesting situation because re recall our discussion of this potential development. We said market could show ABCD down that could give us the target around 134.20 area and retest previous highs or reach the daily confidence support but this will be possible only if price will take out of these lows. Until this, uh, this will not happen, uh, this ABCD pattern will not be triggered. So, because the CD, BC leg will not be formed, the market, in fact, um, will not quite start the ABCD pattern. And we said that if market will not do this, the, it, it, it will keep door open for possible butterfly sell. So maybe you see this. Uh, shadow of the wings that I have drawn here. Uh, this potential butterfly sell on the daily time frame. That is also possible. Uh, but another reason why market could show a move to the upside, you can see that these highs have, haven't been taken out by the market and this in fact could give us great ABC pattern to the downside. And that action could be could become just the compounded ABCD retracement. So market just hit the ABCD target. And could shift down again to the downside, and that could lead to the triple two sell pattern. That's why the situation is very, uh, if you can see, contradictive. Contradictive, and it's very difficult to take any position because you do not have any clear pattern. And uh, price stands at some some area that is not very suitable for taking any position, as to the downside, as to the upside. That's why it's better to take a look at this from the another point of view and that is the classical point of view so on all the time frame chart I uh, could show you this picture in fact from the classical standpoint we see that market stands just in the range this parallel channel uh, rectangle as you wish to call it well from that standpoint what is more very significant is that take a look that borders of this rectangle coincide with the pivot points so here is the pivot resistance one Here's the pivot support one, and here's the weekly pivot point. That gives us a lot of chances. First of all, for those of you who, who like to trade inside of the ranges, like ping pong trading as I call it, and you have the skills to do that, you could try to make it. So if market will move below the weekly pivot point, uh, that is also coincides with the classical approach. So if market will move below the middle of the range, the, the most probable target is the lower border of the range. If market will fail to break it to the downside, then it should return back to the upper border of the, channel, of the channel. That is for those who like to trade inside of it. Those of you who would like to trade on the breakout of this possible range, well, this is also possible because we could estimate the target, the potential breakout that equals to the height of this range counted in the direction of the breakout. And the trading inside of the range could be could really happen because uh, if you watch for the markets enough on the previous couple of weeks, you see that markets mostly stand in decision. It's very uh, small action on the markets. You see it by the euro currency. Well, and since we will have that non-farm payrolls release on Friday, 
very possible that market participants will not take some drastic steps before the non-farm payroll release. That's why uh, I can't exclude the possibility that price action on the in the beginning of the week will be not very active. So we'll, we will see what will happen. Uh, and finally, the one patron, in fact, that I see on currently on the market. This is not even the very perfect patron to watch for, but still, this is only that I see currently. This patron that we have discussed previously, it's potential for double repo sale on the daily time frame. It's not very perfect, but probably we could treat it as the double repo sale look alike. Currently, we have the first close below the three by three right here. Close above again. Whatever market will show the price action, if it will move by the butterfly high and creates the new high, then it returns right back. It's not very significant. The thing that we would like to see is the second close below the three by three. When it will happen, we will get the confirmed double repo sale that will suggest some deeper retracement to the downside. That's the only pattern that I see currently. And whatever market will form, whether it will be the butterfly sale uh, that will create the second top right here of the uh, double ripple pattern, or that will be the breakout of this uh, triangle either to the upside or to the downside. So if it will be downside, the market will show the close below the 3 by 3 If it will be the, to the upside, then probably market could create the second top and turn right back. We'll see. It. But that is the pattern to watch for, and this is the single relatively more or less clear pattern on the uh, euro currency. Well, I, I don't see anything more interesting than this pattern right now. We'll see what market will show us in the next week. Maybe we'll get some more uh, patrons and signals. But currently, this really not very intriguing, not very uh, fascinating mar mar market price action on the euro that give us just few chances to trade. Well, that's in fact all that I would like to say about the euro currency. Um, I think that the big events stands ahead and they probably should take place in October. So I, 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 I have the sense that October month will, will not be the boring trading uh, month and we'll see significant action on the euro currency.